Hello everyone, my name is Davis. I'm one of the managers here at Austin City Roleplay. And today I'm going to be going over uh, the basic rundown of how to set up your character in-game as well as in our CAD system. I've had a lot of people coming to me over the few, past few days since we released the CAD um, with issues, not understanding it. So this video should clarify everything. So when you first load into the server, you will be greeted with a screen looking like this. All right. uh, you guys will not have any characters. As you can see, I have three of my characters here. Uh, for this video, I'm going to be creating a new one. Uh, this is the same steps you will follow, and it will make a little bit more sense once we get over to the CAD uh, while we're doing this. So, create a new character. So first thing you need to do is fill out all this information. So your character's name, and last name, your character's date of birth. So make sure you remember this um, for when we get over to the CAD. It would be 12, 17, 19, 90. Character is a male. Twitter name. M right 90. And my department is civilian. Create character. Once you do that, you will click on your civilian. You will go to spawn at Sandy Shores, because that is our default AOP. Uh, obviously, if you spawn in and it's different, you will have to drive to the AOP, but that's for a, a different conversation. Once you are in-game, you're basically good to go. But if you get pulled over, you will get arrested. That being, they have a law in server that if you are not registered in our CAD, you can be arrested. So, that brings us to the Discord. When you first join the Discord, this is what the Discord looks like for you. Okay, You will want to go down to a channel called CAD-MDT. So, go. You guys might have all these channels and stuff. Uh, you'll look for a channel called CAD-MDT. You'll want to come in here. You'll click this link right here and it will bring you to a website called RocketCAD. Okay. Once you're at the website, it will prompt you to recreate an account if you have never had one before. Follow the prompts to create and set up your account. Once that's done, come back to Discord, click the link again, and it will bring you to a page that looks like this. What you'll want to do is click Begin Patrol. You will only have Civilian, so you will click Civilian. Server 1. Enter Identifier. You can put uh, your Discord, just your Discord name, um, your character name. If you're in law enforcement, you could do a call sign. It doesn't really matter. As long as it's not anything uh, like uh, any profanity, racism, anything like that. Click Save Identifier, Travis County, Begin Patrol. Now you will be prompted with a screen that looks like this. Obviously, again, you will not have any civilian characters in here, um, but we'll change that here in just a second. So, create new persona. Persona's name, Matt Wright. Weight. Come up with a weight for your character. If you want to be fat, you can put 300. If you want to be skinny, you can do 180. I will do 200. Race. My character is white. My height is 6 foot 2. Hair color is um, the brown. Occupation. Welder. And then address. So, as far as the address goes. For the address, a lot of people get confused and they think they have to put their actual address. No. So you can find a place anywhere on the map that you want to live. So for me, I will say 409 Bridge Street. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. And go back here. 
409 Bridge Street. Now all of that information is filled out. Oh, sorry, date of birth. I overstepped that. I said you need to remember it. 12 slash 17 1990. So now that this information here matches up with the information in cab, or sorry, the information we put when we created our character in game, you can click create persona, click into him. Here, if you want to, you can create a medical record, uh, like you're an organ donor, your blood type, um, any medical notes, anything like that you can do. I basically just do blood type and organ donor nine times out of 10. Now, this may look a little bit intimidating, but it really isn't. Um, so the first thing that you want to do, unless you want to, again, unless you want to get arrested, go to licensing center, driver's license, valid. Now, when the officer runs your name, if you get pulled over, you have a valid driver's license. Uh, if you want your boating license, you can say, my boating license is suspended, my hunting license is expired, uh, I have no pilot's license, and I have an expired firearm license. Okay, You can set these whatever which way you want. If you want to say your driver's license is suspended to get your character racked up on felonies, that is up to you. I highly suggest you don't do that, <laughs> but obviously it's your character, it's your life, and you want to do it, go ahead. Here's your judicial system. So basically, if you get arrested, you can see why you were arrested and who arrested you and all the reports and everything here. Vehicle center. So, if you go back into game, I'm going to go in here and I will go to, I already have a vehicle saved. So, Matt Wright, just truck. So you can see I have a truck here. I'm going to, uh, let's make it black. All right. So I have a black Chevy Silverado here. So, you go to your license plate. I'm going to go back into the CAD. License plate. What is the license plate on this? WWH4345. second there we go so wwh four three four five model is chevy silverado primary color select black registration so registration you can either set it to expired or valid Again, if you want to get your character tickets or if you want to you know, make your character realistic um, and have your character be a straight line citizen. Insurance, you can say none, valid, or expired. Uh, I'll say expired insurance on this truck. And then color type is metallic. Create. Oh, what? There we go. So, if your plate's duplicated, you can't register it. That's actually really cool. I never noticed that. So now we have our truck in CAD. Okay. Next would be firearm center. So, here you can register a firearm. So, say, um, oh, that's not the one. Combat pistol. In black, 
now I have a firearm registered to me. Um, some cops will ask you for the serial number, and if they ask you for that, you have to tell them uh, this number here. That way they can make sure that the serial number is actually registered to your gun, this, that, and the other. And you can have as many guns as you want. Um, it's really up to your imagination. Uh, at any time, if you want to edit your information, you can come in here. You can add a uh, picture if you want to. Um, if you click this, it'll open up your file explorer. And you can add a screenshot of your character's face um, or whatever you want to. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now just because this is kind of a tutorial video. Um, you can also go to your medical profile and if you want to add any of your medical information you can do that here now that is the basic rundown of how the CAD here in Austin City Roleplay works uh, I hope this clarifies uh, everything for you guys and I hope everybody has a fantastic day I forgot to mention one thing while I was sitting here uh, editing so when you get pulled over by an officer or something and you're sitting in the driver's seat of your vehicle oh, I accidentally got up when you get pulled over by an officer and you're sitting in your vehicle and they ask you for your ID the reason that we set up the profile in game to match our character in CAD is if we do T slash show ID and then type in the officer's ID so say, uh, say I wanted to show, there's no officers on game right now. Um, say I wanted to show one of these people, I'd say like ID 11. I would press enter and it will give the officer a physical copy of my driver's license with the information, my name, my date of birth and all that. So they can go back to their vehicle and run my information in CAD. Um, correctly um, so make sure y'all use the slash show ID a lot of people don't um, and it gets very irritating sometimes for law enforcement because they have to try and fight you to get your name make sure everything's correct make sure you're using the same character um, and all that so that being said I hope everyone has a great day and uh, hope to see you in server soon